Hi folks, Brother Martins here in Laia, Hawaii. I'm delighted to uh, welcome you to our Religion 325, the Doctrine and Covenants class. Even though we are separated, we are unable to be in the classroom. I wish I could be in the classroom with you. I miss being there. But we have to be supportive of the efforts to stop the spread of the coronavirus. And so we're going to have this spring semester online only. But let me just tell you a little bit about this course. This is a course on of course, the sections of the Doctrine and Covenants, the revelations the Prophet Joseph Smith received, and inspired documents from uh, some, some of the leading elders of the church, or from successors to the Prophet Joseph Smith over the years. I hope you enjoy reading the actual sections of the Doctrine and Covenants. These are going to be our reading assignments. I also selected some materials. I have some lecture notes, which are materials that I have online. I have had for many years, since the time I was a part-time lecturer at BYU Provo in the mid-1990s, some 26 years ago. But I hope you immerse yourself in the Doctrine and Covenants and look at this materials that I have, these lecture notes. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. From time to time, I may chat with you uh, using videos. In fact, I have a few videos for you. Since I'm not going to, I'm not going to be in the classroom with you. I selected several videos with lectures that I have given about some topics related to some of the doctrines in the sections in the revelations of the doctrine and covenants. I hope you enjoy these things. I'm here to lead you in a personal exploration, a personal journey during the next few weeks. Now, let's take a look at some of the uh, syllabus and uh, reading assignments, some of the things. Let's take a look at the computer screen here and uh, review some of those things. Let's start here from the Canvas dashboard. And uh, we're going to click here on our course, Religion 325. And um, from the home screen, we will first go to the syllabus. And so we're going to click on syllabus here on the uh, menu on the left hand side. You are familiar with Canvas, you know how to this works. This is a summarized syllabus. Uh, the complete syllabus you will find on my website on the BYU Hawaii server, but uh, you will find the basic information here, um, including the required materials and uh, the grading scale and uh, several other pieces of information. There is a calendar here at, uh, at the end and you have a, a downloadable PDF file with the calendar as well. Now, on my, just want to show you here, on my, uh, on the link to my homepage, this is my homepage on the BYU server, you just hover the cursor, just hover the cursor over courses, click on Doctrine and Covenants 325, and this page is the complete syllabus for the course. Although this is an older syllabus, because I have not been able to be on campus to update it, but um, you will find that the updated information is here, going back to the syllabus, summarized syllabus on campus. Now, you have here then, as I mentioned, uh, our grading policy, and you can see here that uh, uh, I'm mentioning to you how you're gonna be graded in this class. You, you see here my grading scale, and I'm putting the, I put the information here that I do not use percentages. I do not use canvas for grading. You will be graded in the class according to these raw scores based on your performance in the, um, um, in the different assignments. So let me take you to the assignments page and talk about um, uh, them in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to click on assignments here. 
So on this page here, I made a list of everything. There are a few videos that I hope you take the time to uh, watch because there are several things that I would have I would have enjoyed teaching you live in the classroom. But since we will not be able to do that, um, you have my uh, videos here for uh, your information. Now let's take uh, uh, here, see you see the weekly reading assignments, in this next group here. Let's take one here, for example, on Doctrine and Covenant section 84. Let's, I mean, let me open this on a tab here. You will see here that uh, what I have is links to my lecture notes. The reading assignments in our classes are the actual revelations in the Doctrine and Covenants. But associated with those, I have some lecture notes, if you will. These are thoughts and impressions, uh, quotations that I would have shown you in class on my uh, PowerPoint slides, and uh, diagrams. Um, and then uh, I want to show you, at the end of the page, you have these questions for review here. These questions for review are the actual questions I'm going to ask you on the midterm and the final exams. These are the actual questions I'm going to ask you in the exams. So, as you go along and read the assigned sections in the Doctrine and Covenants, uh, I ask you to then come here to this question review and answer these questions. The answers are found in the text of the Doctrine and Covenants. I'm not going to be asking you to interpret anything or to tell me what you think about it or what your bishop, your mission president, your mother, your father told you. No, the answers are taken straight out of the text of the Doctrine and Covenants. I should tell you also that um, um, as we go back to assignments here, uh, you also have the weekly quizzes. Um, let me take you to the weekly quizzes here and you will see that uh, pretty much every week there will be a quiz. And you have the dates of the quizzes here. The, the, the quiz will include several sections sometimes of the Doctrine and Covenants. And the questions from the, uh, in the quizzes are those questions for review. And what I did is when I have sections from the Doctrine and Covenants coming from multiple reading assignment pages, I indicated in the quiz where those questions are coming from. So you will be able to see that uh, it'll be very easy to uh, find. Let me uh, let's go to one of these, for example, here. The first, uh, the first one we have here. Uh, you see this one here, for example. I'm telling you here that uh, these quizzes are meant to record your attendance online. Do not worry about the score you're going to get in the quiz. Don't worry about it. I'm only going to be looking at the quiz to see that you are tagging along with the course. So the quizzes serve first as an online attendance record. So you take the quiz and uh, I, I mark you as president. Present. Now, the quiz also help you prepare for both the midterm and the final exams because the questions in the quizzes are the actual questions, not only for the, from the questions for review in the reading assignment page, but the questions in the quiz are the actual questions from the midterm and the final exam. So as you take the, uh, the quiz, you will be preparing for those exams. In fact, I suggest that before you take those exams, that you read the, uh, your previous quizzes so that uh, you can see which questions you missed and why you missed them, what you got right. Now, you see here that the quizzes are limited to 60 minutes. Now, remember, uh, these quizzes are going to be open book, open notes, still individual. You cannot have assistance from anybody. 
but uh, open book, open notes, so 60 minutes should be a sufficient time for you to uh, take these quizzes uh, every week. So let's go back here to the assignments page. And uh, I gave you here also some a list of my essays and papers, uh, several of which uh, you will be reading during the semester. This will be to enrich your experience in the course. This will be things that I would have taught you in the classroom. But since we will not be in the classroom, then, well, you will ha then have the opportunity to read what I would have taught you. And then, hopefully, you will have questions about it and just get in touch with me via email or we may schedule a, a, a face to face visit via Zoom, uh, by appointment, of course. And I'm, of course, mindful of the different time zones that uh, many of you are. But I will always be delighted to answer questions and clarify things for you. So, uh, you saw that in my lecture notes here, for example, you would have some, you'll find sometimes some diagrams. Well, in the assignments page here on, on Canvas, I put a list of some of those diagrams. In fact, I believe I have all of the diagrams that I'm going to be uh, using during the course. These will be diagrams that I would have shown you in class with the associated quotations from prophets and apostles in my PowerPoint slides. But since we will not be in class, I'm giving you those here for your uh, enjoyment. Now, going back then to um, the assignments page, we will have a paper at the end of the semester. I'll talk more about the paper later on. And finally, you have here uh, the exams, the midterm and the final exam. And we'll talk more about the exams when the time comes. So this is what we have then uh, in a very superficial, very quick uh, review for your information. Let me know. I hope you enjoy this semester. Even though we are separated, I am your teacher and I'll be delighted to answer questions you may have about some of the things you're going to read in the Doctrine and Covenants or about other doctrinal questions that have been bothering you for quite some time. Many of those who have taken classes from me uh, in the past know that for me there are no stupid questions, no inappropriate questions. If there is something you want to know, it is my duty to teach you about that, to give you a sufficient answer, if I know the answer. And I will be delighted to do that. We can chat via email, uh, or if it is some topic that is very long, uh, we may schedule uh, chat on Zoom by appointment. And uh, if it is not something private and you are okay with it, we may even open that session to others of your classmates. Um, it, unless it is something private, you know, say, Robert, you know, I just want to talk to you only. But if not, we can open to some of the others and uh, we'll let them know. Now, this will not be mandatory, of course, because we are spread out all around the world over many time zones. But we can even record some of those uh, conversations and post them for the benefit of those who are going to be watching. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful experience, even though we are separated and not being in the classroom. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you with greater understanding of the revelations he gave to the prophet Joseph Smith and to some of his successors. I'll talk to you some other time. Bye.